Welcome to Sports Savvy, the show where two Ohio State students are pitted against each other in a battle of sports wits. You already saw that James won our last round, and here we have two new competitors, uh, Ed and Colin. Go ahead and say a little bit about yourselves. Ed, you can start out. I'm Edward Sutland, the assistant sports editor for The Lantern. I like the Reds. Yeah, and I'm Colin. I'm a journalism major, uh, senior journalism major, and uh, I'm the sports editor at The Lantern, so Ed's my assistant. Oh, that should be interesting. you got a <laughs> few bragging rights then out of this. So basically how the show's going to work is, uh, you know, it's a very basic game board we have here. Uh, we have three different categories, stadiums, unbreakable records, and quotable. These are the same kind of categories that James and Ryan had before. However, the questions are different, so no advantage if you guys heard any, heard any of those. So we have the four different point levels. Obviously, you get one right, you get the points. You get it wrong, someone else can steal. And then moving on after that, the winner of this will have the chance to answer three separate questions that were 10 points apiece, and those points will actually travel into the next round when you face off between James, who was the winner between James and Ryan. Sound I'm good for you for guys? James. Yeah. And obviously just buzz in for whenever, you, uh, whenever you have the think you know the question, or think you know the answer, rather. There you go, just like that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get you guys started off here with uh, stadiums for one point. And the question is, Kirk Gibson launched one of the most iconic home runs in World Series history in the 1988 series off closer Dennis Eckersley. In what stadium did he hit the famed shot? Dodger and Stadium. Dodger Stadium is correct. Nice work. That's right. All right, so uh, Ed, since you got that right, you can now move on and you can uh, select whichever question you would like. All right, let's go uh, Unbreakable Records for three. Unbreakable Records 3. All right, and the question is, known as the Great One, this NHL Hall of Famer scored an astounding two steps. As Wayne Gretzky. Won. Wayne Gretzky is correct. I didn't know we could just buzz in as soon as the question started. Yes, <laughs> you, you can. All right. Well, Sorry, I can't see half the clear. screen, so you already got the advantage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Colin, go ahead and take your pick. Uh, I'll take Unbreakable Records for one point. Right. Yeah. Unbreakable Records for one point. This man played in a record 2,632 consecutive games in the MLB. Colin? Cal Ripken Jr. That is correct. <laughs> Cal Ripken Jr. Colin, you have the board again. Go ahead and make your uh, selection. Uh, stadiums for 300. Well, we have three 100. points. I don't know if we can do 300. What? So we'll go three points oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> also so, three. Stadiums for three. Deconstructed in 1996, this stadium supported both football and baseball and was the home to the infamous 10 Cent Beer Night. I know it, but I don't know the name of it. <laughs> uh, might want to buzz in. I have no idea. Hold up. Hold three up. seconds. Three seconds. Two. That is bad. And I'm sorry, neither of you buzzed in. That'll be it. And Colin, judging by your shirt, I feel like you should I have know, got this. I Cleveland know. Cleveland Stadium, also known as yeah, Municipal I mean, or Lakefront Stadium. I would have right. accepted any of those. Sad. Uh, Colin, you still have the board, so go ahead and make another selection. Uh, we'll go Stadium for seven points. A lot less than 300. There you go. Stadium for seven. This is a long one. A unique structure in Beijing, China, called the Beijing National Aquatic Center, is where Michael Phelps took home eight gold. All wasn't right. that wasn't it the spider web? Ah, that is incorrect. <sighs> Ed, chance to steal. Not a chance. <laughs> it's actually the nickname of the arena is actually called the Water Cube. What? If you see a picture of it, it actually looks yep. like a cube. Never would have gotten that. There, there's a, there's that's that's why it's worth seven promise. points. Ed. <laughs> All right, yeah. Colin. I'll go stadiums five. Stadiums four five. While the Indianapolis Ooh. Motor Speedway is technically a racetrack and not a stadium, it is the highest capacity sports venue in the world, including infield seating. How many people are estimated to fit inside this monolith of motorsport? We're just playing. Three close. seconds. <laughs> Colin? 150,000. That's incorrect. Ed, chance to steal. Uh, I'll go with uh, 130,000. Uh, you both are pretty far off. This is a lot. Including the infield seating, you can actually fit 400,000 people in there. That's a fair amount of people. All right, and we're going to take a break there. That's our first break. Uh, Colin and Ed, a lot closer than Ryan and James were, I can promise that. So we'll see you when we come back. We're calling for you, James. <laughs> 